Hey everybody, Sean from Road Trip Rags here. Uh, things are starting to open up again after COVID-19. Um, did a little bit of thrifting yesterday, so I thought I'd do a little mini haul with you guys. Um, I'm doing it here in the garage, so hopefully the lighting comes out all right. Uh, not knowing how long the virus can live on clothing, I don't want to go trampling through the house with all this stuff that I just brought home from the thrift store. Um, so yeah, well, let's get right into it. Alright, so first off we have uh, this torrid kind of stretch top, sleeveless. I picked this up for tag says 629. Um, Joanne usually does all the shopping for women for the most part, but she has a full time job that she's been doing here from home, so I just kind of pick up whatever I can whenever I can. Um, after that, we have this navy blue animal print torrid top um again i, I know torrid's a good seller for us picked that one up for $7.99 everything here um was 20 percent off with the coupon so 20 percent off whatever the tag says all right here we have a levi's denim jacket i think this is a size small um, we always pick up Levi's if it's a reasonable price. This one will probably shoot for, I don't know, 30 to $40 on, uh, for, on Poshmark. We'll see where that goes. Uh, after that, we have some Canary Cycling shorts. Um, let's see, $3.99 for those. Uh, been selling a lot of cycling shorts lately. Um, I don't know, a lot of people are active being stuck at home right now, so haven't been able to keep those in my store on eBay in particular. Um, after that, got some Marine Spooner swimming trunks here. Um, never had any anything but Rain Spooner shirts, but they definitely do well for us. Uh, so we'll see how these go. Um, let's see, pick those up for $3.99. Another, another summer pickup here, some Tommy Bahama shorts. Uh, pick those up for $3.99. Um, never sold anything but Tommy Bahama um, Hawaiian shirts, so not sure how these are going to do. Haven't even run comps on them, I just picked them up because I knew it would probably sell for that price. Couldn't really go wrong. All right, here we have a vintage Amphibious uh, Outfitters uh, tee. It's not a single stitch, but it is marked uh, for 1997. Um, there weren't very many comps, but they there were a few. And for 2.29, I just went ahead and took a chance on it. shot of the front there. All right, next up is a Travis Matthew T. Nice, really soft. Um, I don't know if it's Pima Cotton. Usually they use Pima Cotton uh, for their shirts. Uh, picked this one up for $1.99, extra large, great shape. Uh, I'll probably throw that, throw that up for 20 bucks, see where it goes. All right, here we have a Filson button down. Um, really been killing it on the outdoor um, brands right now. And Filson is a brand that really has a pretty big um, following. Picked that up for $7.29. The last one that I had, I put it up for almost $60 and it sold within a few hours. So we'll, we have big, big hopes for this one. And right here, got another another outdoor brand. Sells pretty well. The Cool. Uh, somebody somebody dumped off their whole Cool shirt collection, I believe. Picked this one up for six twenty nine, and we picked up three of them here. Uh, great condition on all of them. Uh, we actually just sold the last Cool shirt that was in our closet 
Uh, we'll be shooting for probably 30 to 35 dollars on each of these. This one was probably my favorite. It has these the snap front buttons on it. Uh, this one's nice and lightweight. Um, if it was my size, it'd probably go in my closet. All right. Here's a couple of um, Carhartt shirts. These are a couple, just some bread and butter items for us. They don't sell for a lot, but they do sell well, and they'll keep keep a little bit of a profit coming in. These these ones I picked up are both both large, uh, great great size. Um, extra large usually sells a little bit better for us, but these will definitely sell sell okay. All right, here's one you may know, Untuck It. Um, another one of those brands that once we put it in, once we put it up for sale, it doesn't last long. Um, this one I don't know how well it's gonna do just because it's a solid, solid color. You, uh, all the ones that we've, all the shirts we've sold in the past have been like a plaid or something, something with a pattern on it. Um, so I don't know how well this one's gonna do, but I'm sure it, won't disappoint. All right, Tommy Bahama. Uh, there was a time when Tommy Bahama would pretty much sell regardless of what it was. Um, this one I picked up for $5.99. Nowadays, I only pick up Tommy Bahama if it's got um, some kind of pattern or if it's got the like a Hawaiian print on it a floral print but the solid colors I usually don't pick up anymore because they don't sell well. And this one is Quicksilver. Um, again one of those one of those items that um, doesn't sell for a lot but it's a bread and butter item for us um, and this this print this Hawaiian print is definitely um, good to have in the summer I'm seeing a big uh, a big demand for it right now. All right, this one got the nice tribal going here. Uh, it's I, I believe it's vintage, but I'm gonna have to research it just to make sure because uh, I don't know enough about it. But Genco jeans. Um, if you're an '80s baby, you probably remember Genco jeans. I believe they're still active, but um, not as big as they were back in the '90s. So we'll see how this one goes. Pumps were, were decent on it. It was just kind of a, an item that um, I couldn't pass up for the price. And now we'll move on into uh, some more bread and butter for us. I love to sell these uh, pearl snaps, the Western shirts. This one is a uh, roper. Picked it up for $4.29. Um, extra large. It's got the nice embroidery on it. Um, this one I'll probably put up for $25 to $30 and see where it goes from there. Next, another Pearl Snap. This one is a Wrangler 20X. Uh, great, great pattern, great colors. This one shouldn't have a problem selling pretty quick. Uh, I paid $3.99 for this, but the only reason I picked this one up is because it is the uh, XLT and it's new with tags. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Um, hopefully you learned some brands that you didn't know. We are out thrifting now that things are opening back up. Uh, but I just want to I just want to point out that we're being as safe as we possibly can when we do go out. Um, we have too many too many people close to us that are in high risk categories. Um, one of them being our daughter. So if we go to a thrift store and it just doesn't feel right, or we don't feel like uh, it's safe enough for us to be in there, uh, we call it good and we'll just go on to another day. So hopefully all of you are being safe out there. Um, be safe and be kind. We'll see you next time.